Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a brick workout uh, on Zwift, which is a, a bike. I'm going to do about a 90 minute bike ride, and then I'll switch it to a running mode and run. And uh, Zwift have the ability, it will save both workouts separately. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start riding. Okay, so let me uh, just first pair my trainers. Click on search. I'm gonna pair my, my uh, Tax Neo. I'm gonna just do it as a power meter. And also I'm gonna do it at the controllable trainer. And route, I'm gonna go ahead and ride the new uh, jungle. Road to Ruins. All right, let's get started. Just got done with my uh, last interval. And now uh, just cooling down. Uh, next will be uh, the brick run. So here, as you finish your bike ride, uh, just click on the menu or the uh, press on A in the keyboard. Uh, now we'll go to pair, and we'll switch to uh, run. And uh, just click on search to uh, under run speed. To look for my uh, uh, foot pod, and it's looking, and uh, have a Garmin foot pod. Just click on OK, and it looks like it's paired to my power mirror cadence. So I'm just going to unpair that and click on OK here, and uh, click on back. I'm just going to put my shoes on. And uh, now we're ready to run. As you're running, uh, you're going to see your split on the left screen menu. And right now, there, it looks like they're having a little uh, issue, and Zwift is aware of that. Uh, so hopefully, we'll be fixing the next update. But once you're done running, uh, just like you're finishing a ride, click on menu and end the run. And Zwift will upload it to uh, will upload the ride and run separately. So we'll have uh, two separate activities and it will push it to Training Peak and Strava. And this is it, it's pretty simple. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, also head over to smartbiketrainers.com for all everything smart bike, uh, smart bike trainer related. And enjoy your run guys.